I need my headphones. Turn this on. There, there we go. Hello. All right. What? Oh, hang on. I got to change the fucking... Hang on. There. What? Nothing. <laughs> so I don't know if people can hear me or not because I have absolutely no way of knowing. But no, I've been I had... actually talking. Oh, you were talking? Because I had music going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. See, I, I didn't know, so I was talking. <laughs> I didn't want it to be dead air out. My first response was, well, fuck it. He ain't back. I was going to close out and go back to watching fucking Witcher. No, <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, that was uh, Christian. <laughs> Especially after you said brand spanking new. I was like, oh, fuck. No, he was. It, it was funny, dude. It was his. Oh, hang on. I got to. Julie. Off the rails. <laughs> but anyways christian he, he's he's like this he's not brain well i guess he is brand spanking new to us you know but he's he's you know he was a student and uh he he's only been driving for a month or so and he was trying to do the oh, split Jesus. sleeper he's good he's a good driver he's a good kid you know, I've got no complaints with him. You know, he tries. He 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 can actually back up. He ha and he hasn't hit anything. So. Sweet. So he's a little better than a steering wheel holder. That yes, he mean. is. That's good. That's very it's, good. The thing is, he's from someplace in Africa. I have no idea what the name of the country is he's from. And he, you know, but he talks really good. He's you know, he's got really good with English. <laughs> she's probably from ubuntu <laughs> <laughs> but he he does he was trying to do a split sleeper and he's like i've i changed every i've changed you know I'm, i've been off duty for like four hours and it won't do anything and i'm looking at it and i'm like he's like i'm not getting anything back and i'm like split sleeper doesn't give you anything back it just pauses what your 14 hour clock and he's like, yeah. And he's, he's like, that's what I mean. I'm trying to do, trying to do the split sleeper. I'm like, well, you got to turn it on first. <laughs> and, he's, and I tried to get him to wow. turn it on, and he mis mis fingered the button on the tablet. <laughs> and he got he got lost somewhere in the in the part where where you where you email your logs to a DOT cop. <laughs> oh, wow. and he couldn't get out of it and i'm like i don't know i've never been in there i don't know what button you push i said fuck it just turn it off and turn it back on <laughs> 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 so we had to reboot the tablet <clears throat> but he, he he finally got oh. it yeah now he's good <clears throat> no he, he, he's like I'm like he's like so, so that just gave me four hours i'm like yeah you're in Ravenna, Ohio. He's like, think I can make Cooper's bill in four hours? I'm like, no. <laughs> Not unless you got jets on that truck. <laughs> and so I gave, fuel don't cost or don't count as jets. <laughs> exactly. So I gave him directions to Ottawa Lake. To the pilot there. Ah. Uh. It's like you'll like it. It's huge. Got all kinds of parking. If there's if there's for some stupid reason there's no parking there, there's a Burger King across the street. They always got parking. Yep. Yeah, I was talking about I brought mural up at one point. And you were talking to I yourself. I was talking about <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was like, I don't know if anybody can hear me or not, but rather than having dead air, I'm just going to start talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so. I just left the music playing and had it on the starting soon screen. Yeah. yeah that would have been fine if I'd have known that, but now that I know that, <laughs> next time I'll know that. <laughs> I didn't even think. 
I should have just, one of these days I'll figure out how to pipe the music back into Discord again. But. Yeah. I think it's not really all that worth it. Yeah. Because this, I think this is a dying station. Yep. Well, it's not necessarily a dying station. It's more people got on with their lives. They had things to do, you know. The pandemic was done. People got jobs, grew up, you know, became responsible Fucking adults. Weak people. Fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Quit your job and stay home and listen to us on the fucking computer on Saturday nights. That's right. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Try to be a responsible adult. What are you fucking sixty? For fuck's <laughs> sakes. Hey, hey, hey. I'm getting closer to that number. Eight. Which means <laughs> you ain't far behind. I ain't even hit 50 yet, buddy, so don't forget that, fucker. Yeah. You're, you're getting closer you're, to 60, and I ain't even crossed, I ain't even jumped over the fucking curb yet, buddy. You're, you're getting close. Don't give me that shit. You're getting close. Um, yeah. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, my son. <laughs> my fun, my son. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. That's right. I thought I had some fucking... My hot ass neighbor went to Dayton today. Dayton, who? Dayton, Ohio. Oh. I didn't say she is dating. I said she went oh. to dating today. Oh. Dayton today. Didn't you say she's a lesbian or something? Or bi? Or she was dating a fucking dating a chick. So most recently, but I I don't know. I haven't seen or heard anything since she told me that. So. Maybe and I've she... been kind of keeping a, keeping it mellow, so I'm Maybe... not the guy who's like in her DMs, quote unquote. <laughs> Maybe she's a Maybe she's a try. A try anything. Yeah, it's hard to say. Is there any she's great Danes around there? I don't know. Maybe she's any what? Any great Danes around there? <laughs> No. Honey, have you seen the peanut That's butter? That's big for a trailer park. <laughs> Honey, have you seen, did you see that horse walking down the street the other day? <laughs> Neighbors out walking the damn yeah, dog it's, again. It's a bit. It's a fucking, trailer park's a bad place for a fucking great day, man. I could agree with that. Hell yeah. Dude, I was bummed. Not oh, yeah. like depressed bummed, but bummed out last weekend when Sinead O'Connor died, man. Oh, yeah. Did you ever hear what it was My from? My dad yesterday. No. My dad yesterday. Did you hear? Oh, who the fuck did he say? Uh, Shania Twain died last week. <laughs> 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 and I Sorry, was like, Dad. oh, no, I hadn't heard. <laughs> and then it, a little later on, it dawned on me, Sinead O'Connor, not Shania Twain. <laughs> so I was like, um, how does somebody get Shania Twain and Sinead O'Connor mixed up? One fucks her producer to get her rich. The other <laughs> one didn't want to be famous at all. She actually <laughs> grenaded her career so she wouldn't be that famous because... She was a protester. Yeah. She stayed was cool. I liked her yeah, music. She didn't want... Yeah. It was very political. And controversial. Loved her And if voice. I remember right, somebody said she was a supporter. Yeah. Somebody said she was a supporter of the IRA. I don't know. I don't know if that was true or not, but I want to think somebody said that. Where the fuck did I put all so, my memes? Yeah. One is a, you know, singer from <laughs> Ireland. One is a <laughs> singer from Canada. Big difference. Yeah, you think? 
and not just the country of origin, the genre of music as well. <laughs> yeah. Only your dad. Yeah. Motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. me, I didn't do nothing. Okay. I thought I lost my memes that I've kind of been sacking away this week. You, you better have a fucking garage full of them because, fuck, we've done one show in the last two months. Uh, we've done more than one now show. Now two. No, we haven't. No, we did we one. We took like a month off and did one show a couple weeks ago, and then we missed last week. And now here we are. Sorry. We, a we've month done, and a half, we've done two shows. We've done, yeah, two shows. One yeah, with Andy, two shows one without. Two months. And, uh, yeah, this is the one without. And where's, where's Keith? We have to. I haven't heard. But you better have a whole lot of fucking memes saved up there, buddy. I'm trying to get them fired up here. Problem is, I got them on the other computer. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Well, I got. I'm going to start the day off with this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Hell yeah. Gotta be this. It's not it. Some there you bitch. Go. Here you go. This is another really solid one. <clears throat> <laughs> Try that in a campground. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Now, on a, on a serious note, though, Jason Aldean filed a lawsuit against Whoopi Goldberg and the entire cast of The View. Really? Yep, for defamation of character, because they were blatantly saying he was a racist, and the song was fucking racist, and had racist lyrics, all sorts of misinformation. And they're passing it off as factual, and it is not factual. And then he filed a big lawsuit against CMT for First Amendment uh, cool. Basically, going against the First Amendment. So he's what he's going after them for, because that was a perfectly legit video and song. And now he's like fucking huger than ever because the fucking idiots did it for him. So thank you, idiots. You made Jason Aldean that much more popular. H huger Holy than fuck, ever. It's Ron. Oh, my God. What's happening, Ronnie boy? Oh, you guys doing a show? Yeah. Surprising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't you, uh, like. What? Why don't you, why, why isn't it tagging it? Oh, we didn't tag it. Why won't it tag? Are you doing off the rails? Don't know. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was doing loud and proud. Yeah. There you off. go. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> it was, so what see, are you doing down here with us lowly people? Yeah. Don't you like have a third job to go to? You know, I've been busy all day, and I'm still not done. I I just saw you guys are doing the show, so I was, figured I'd pop in. I've, uh, you know, like my bedroom is also my office. And Bonehead, you can probably relate to that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. And you I'm, know, you, my bed's no, like right behind no, me. His <laughs> office is not your bedroom, Ron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, uh, and I've kind of just let it go. I let it go. I had, you know, food wrappers and like, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually really, really careful to not ever leave food in here. But like trash did pile up, uh, dust piled up. So did the, um, so did the cups because Jesus Christ, your mom and I were looking for cups to have a drink the other day, and they were all down in your fucking room, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no, I don't, actually don't, I don't leave cups in here either. But it's mostly like like vape vape bottles, you know, the juice. I actually saved those because yep. there's always just a little bit left at the bottom that I can't get out. And then what I do is like whenever, uh, whenever like they either pile up too much or I feel like doing it, I sit there and I pour one upside down into another and keep doing that. And I'll end up with a half a bottle of juice, which, you know, saves oh, me like yeah. 15 bucks. Yeah. Like right. I literally, I don't know. I've got, I've got about a half a bottle right now and I still got about another six more to go, seven more to go. Eight more to go. Shit. Damn it, man. Um, I have, yeah, I let it pile up way too much. It's been a long time. But anyway, yeah, I've been like, going through papers. This... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I said I ain't fucking vaped in a while. I got all this fucking, all these coils and shit to make your own coils and all this shit sitting here. Do nothing. But eventually I'll get back to it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's any healthier or not. I actually, I enjoy smoking more. I just can't smoke inside, so vape it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've been, you know, I've got all these receipts and papers and stuff that I've had to organize. Got all my laundry. I've got literally no laundry left, so it was time to do that as well. <laughs> but the main thing, the reason why I did all this was because my computer kept overheating and shutting down. Um, and I have like four Noctua fans like sitting on my dresser that had been sitting there since like the end of last year that wow. I just never put in. Damn. So I went ahead and put all four of those in and put them in a push pull configuration where it should like really force some air through there. Yeah, Cause it's my graphics card oh, that's yeah. getting too hot. And uh, yeah, I just need to get some air out of there and you know, just, just unplug your graphics card, man. <laughs> you don't need it unless you're doing graphics. <laughs> I actually can't. The graphics card is so fucking thick, I can't get underneath it to push the button to pop it out. Damn. I've had I've had to pull it out once and I just kind of jerked it out. Which was yeah, I jerk it out too. Which is really dangerous when you've got like a, you know, I I paid I think $1200 for this graphics card and $600 for that uh, motherboard. Holy shit. Yeah. Boy, That's a hell of a graphics coming, card. Didn't I? Yeah, I mean it was it was top of the line when I got it pretty much. I mean it wasn't the top of the line, it was a thirty eighty TI. So it's it's pretty damn good, but I kinda need it, so did you get it when the when it was uh real expensive? No, but I did get it um when it wasn't cheap too. Like, like they were going for double the price and shit, and I was not going to pay the over retail price. The minute it finally dropped down to retail price, I bought it, which was still pretty expensive. Wow. <laughs> Can you fly airplanes now? <laughs> With your fans? I'm, I'm guessing no, that's what Dark about, goes at. He's talking about flight simulation. Oh. <laughs> that's I thought my he was making take on anyway. That's what my. Oh. No, I, I think he's talking about. Does he have the you know, the power to do airplane simulators? Because then you need super duper duper duty power. I can play Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I don't know. It's I'd... it's decent. It's what it, basically what it's for is what I is for work. Um, I have to run, yeah. like, I have to run, so like two video, like a video chat, a screen share, two instances of OBS, uh, three different browsers, 
and like you know discord and slack and uh like and all of this stuff on two gigantic monitors i got two 2k monitors so it's basically a 4k monitor wow and oh yeah i mean it's actually bigger than a 4k monitor um <laughs> depending on I, I don't know there's not a real good definition of 4k monitor but anyway oh fuck yeah uh you need you need some good you need some good graphics to drive that and uh yeah you also need a good airflow to keep the graphics card from fucking overheating and generally yeah yeah <laughs> i would think anyways i'm over here agreeing with you like i'm a fucking computer expert yeah or, we listen to our customers that is a good one you yeah, ask for a place now <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I saw that earlier. I was like, "Hell yeah, it's pretty fucking funny." I was actually thinking about posting it, but I'm glad you did instead of me. <laughs> saved you, uh, saved you the hassle. Yeah, because you know we're we're not but a bunch of boomers over here. Speak for yourself. <clears throat> I was born before the boomer. <laughs> you were born before the boomer, huh? Yeah. Do you see that Twitter you rebranded? Older? So, you, so you're yeah, you're even older than a baby boomer. Damn, dude. Damn. Oops, I just shared a mean to the wrong discord chat <laughs> oh god so where you guys been have you been all right did you have another heart attack <clears throat> no i'm good it's just no fucking... he's just been whiny it's too uh <laughs> <laughs> it's not just fucking hot i mean it's fucking it's fucking Jardians and fucking shit, Boonjaro shit that the doctors got me on. Like, gives me the shits really, really fucking bad. I mean, like, let's put it this way. If, if I was black, I would swear I was melting. Damn it, boy. Sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> no. West Memphis loves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> West Memphis sucks. At least around the truck stops, it sucks, anyways. Yes, it does. I got West one... Memphis loves? What is that? Is that like a bad place? Yeah, it's a truck stop. Yeah. Well, I know what loves is. Loves is a truck stop. And but I'm wondering, but West Memphis, 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 Arkansas. West Memphis, is that like just a. Uh, is that the black area or something? No, it's just the the industrial bunch of hoodlums hang out there. Yeah, it's just not a good area. General bad actors running around, you know, drugs and thuggy type shit. You might get your truck broke into. You might not. With you sleeping in it, you might. Yeah, you might get backed into, or you might not. It's it's basically a crap shoot anytime you pull into West Memphis, any one of the truck stops in West Memphis. <laughs> Don't let me forget I already <laughs> shot up. I've already shot up too. I don't know how I like having this. Yeah. X app on my phone. I keep getting excited. Then I open it up and it's just, I'm like, this just looks like Twitter. Yeah, it's just the the icon changed as far, as far as I can tell. It's still exactly the same, only the name is now X. Can't be a <laughs> Mayalito in this. Oh. <laughs> that sounds mm, yummy. Fucking nasty. <laughs> mm, especially with Hellman's. Oh, sorry. 
that shit's nasty. Any mayonnaise. I don't give a fuck yeah. whose it is. I love it's mayonnaise. It's nasty. Yes, it is. Ugh. You like eating cum, too? No. Liar. You eat mayonnaise. You're eating cum. That's horse cum, dude. No. That ain't. That ain't uh, no. That's just eggs Speaking and, of odd things. oil. <laughs> Speaking of odd things. <laughs> I was at the store yesterday. Nice getting segue. Enough, uh, half, getting a half gallon of rum because I'm going to I'm gonna make a concoction. And uh, <laughs> Some mayonnaise and rum, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to do may- uh, mayonnaise. God damn, I'm going to do rum. <laughs> And uh, maraschino cherries. You make the most disgusting of all cherries. Make make it like a, obviously like a drink in itself. And then you can actually mix it with something and still, you know, have a nice cherry lovable liquid. And I turned around and what do I see? Peanut butter flavored whiskey. What? Yes. Peanut butter flavored whiskey. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you? <laughs> peanut the, butter's awesome, but I, peanut butter whiskey? Yeah. I like peanut butter, but somebody I don't think fucking, I would. Uh-uh. Somebody no. snorted some that day. Not sure if I should peel the sticker off. <laughs> 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 the M&M's Depends getting a little freaky. what you want to see there, big fella. Yep. M&M's getting freaky. God damn, we're not even an hour in, and I'm essentially done rolling cigarettes. Cool. So we don't I'm have like to listen to you tap. Just to get... You <laughs> haven't been hearing me tap, because I haven't been tapping. I think maybe I've tapped twice, maybe three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just like I'm, the tap. I'm doing things a little different nowadays. Doing things well, just a wee bit different now. <laughs> Used to be called jumpalines. Yeah. <laughs> so, the other day, guess what I did? What you did? What the fuck? I went to... Uh, iTunes and downloaded uh, Nothing Compares to You by Prince, Nothing Compares to You by Sinead, and Nothing Compares to You by Chris Cornell. Cool. How did they compare? <laughs> I like Chris's a little better. Really? Chris is, for me, number one. Yep. Because it, it just adds an air of haunting melody to it. Especially, you know, it, it's it's uh, an acoustic track done for Sirius XM in one of their studios, and there's video to go with it, and there's his voice is just fucking haunting in that song, dude. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna post it. But yeah, I got Chris in first. What's her nuts in second? And then Prince, <laughs> even though Prince wrote the song, I just really don't care for his rendition of it. Excuse me. Especially in the beginning of it, the weird fucking. God damn. All of a sudden, fucking I Stand Alone from Godsmack started playing. It was a commercial. <laughs> I stand alone. <laughs> so, yeah, Savannah got approved to get an apartment. Really? Her and her, yeah, her and her, she says husband, but as far as I know, they're not actually married yet. But baby, not, baby daddy number two, because she's got two kids with the first guy and one kid with this guy. Like mother, like um, daughter. They've been living in hotels for the last four years no shit so yeah so they finally got you know because again he delivers pizzas so 
But they can afford to live in a hotel? Well, they're not living at the fucking Radisson Inn, let me tell you. They're living at the super, not even super, they're living at the Motel 6, probably, if that tells you anything. They're subsidized. It's not no fancy Holiday Inn or nothing. It's fucking, they in the ghetto cockroach hotel, probably. Uh-huh. So... <laughs> Accidentally? <laughs> yeah. That was something else I explained to myself when I was waiting for you to come back on. <laughs> What's that? It was like, yeah, we interact in our chat group with, you know, we send memes, we tell stupid stories, we fucking tell stupid jokes. So if this is your first time, you might like it. You might not. You might have a really bad time. (laughs) So. God damn it. Hold on a second. There we go. My fucking headphones got all jacked around. Wow. Yeah, they slipped off my head shower, and one shower. cuff turned all the way around. <laughs> this tweet is why it's very important to have context before you just throw out a statement. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, this whoever one. named this is yeah. a hero yeah. cake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> they keep stealing the green cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try it. <laughs> Udo. <laughs> yep. That'll get some hate. That's what we need. We need a controversy so our name will get out in public. Why? Make us famous. We already are famous. We're legends in our own minds. What the? Well, I'd like to be a legend in somebody (laughs) else's mind. (laughs) There you go, be a weather forecaster. Nice, Darcy. Go. (laughs) (laughs) I can't tell who the first one is, but then there's obviously Elvis, Johnny, Jimmy, James, David, Mick. I don't know. I think that's uh, what's her nuts there. And I can't tell who the last guy is. Can't be rare the targeted ads say they are there are white cougars in my area. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how retarded we are. This is fucking three people on this fucking channel right now or you know, on here on this fucking site right now and we're just interacting with memes between the three of us but yeah that's what this show is all about it's a meme show (laughs) yeah so we need some more hate when your ancestry.com DNA test comes back and says 100% (laughs) American (laughs) Hmm. 
He likes shredded wheat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's been a hundred memes, but I'll still say it. I'll even go on the record to saying it. The fucking lion looks just like James Hetfield. Yeah, he does. Yes, yes. And I know it wasn't Virgil that played the role, but still. It could have been. <laughs> and I, I do have to say that I'm a little bummed. You know, you know how much I love and idolize fucking James Hetfield. Yeah. But he's turned into such a hipster. It's like, for fuck's sakes, man. That's the California living out there for as long as he did. Thankfully, he's in Colorado now. Is he? I didn't know that. Yeah. He moved out of San Francisco area because, and out of California because it was a bad fit, dude. You know, we're talking mountain man going down through town with fucking deer on the back of his fucking hoopty. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he he's a trophy hunter. Not even just a trophy. He's just a hunter. Period. He he you know eats it too. But yeah, going through these fancy fucking neighborhoods and towns and shit with you know blood dripping out the back of your pickup truck and a dead animal inside it. You know, he got a lot of frowns from people, and the wow. fact that he's such a avid hunter. Obviously, California is not the place to live if you're such a gun lover. So he's got a whole lot more freedom now living in Colorado than he did living in California. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Read that one that Ron posted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> you don't get too excited because this one's really hot. <laughs> the front's pretty fucked up, too. <laughs> About to get kicked out of the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it. Hell yeah. I mean, that's just tempting. Like, why would you do that? That's just tempting. Right. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> then have somebody standing over there with a the roll of the little tickets to give to you <laughs> for winning. <laughs> <laughs> You take these up front counter, get a stuffed animal, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit. So I fixed two of my sound problems tonight, too. Awesome. Yeah. What'd you do? They were minor, but uh, like I was able to work around them. But yeah, now, now my shit's sounding good. I had you, the... Uh... <laughs> you don't sound any different, does. Oh no! So my mic wasn't ever a problem. My mic is direct digital, oh. right into your fucking earballs. Oh, okay. um, but I have a. <laughs> Someone hasn't told you, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. No, basically, I got a surround sound uh, set, like a home theater surround sound. So you're listening to us in surround sound? Well, no, because you're not putting out a surround signal. Oh. 
Yeah. So it's just straight up left and right. But I do have a surround sound like hooked up to my computer. And for the longest time, I used the digital, you know, the optical. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever used the optical signal before for your sound? No, no. I've never had I a plug for it. Found a DVD player. Yeah, like every one of them, <clears throat> like every single like thing, pretty much has it. Like it's on the back of your TV, it's on the back of your DVD players, it's on the back of surround sounds, it's on the back of your computer. It's a little thing that like emits a red light. Yeah, it's got a little but, flappy door on it. Yep, I got one yeah. computer that does that or has that jack, but I've never been able to have something that would do it, use it. Well, it, mine stopped working one time and it was after like I routed all of my cables all nice and neat. And I don't know. I didn't know what the fuck happened. I thought I broke the cable, right? I thought I squeezed because it's actually glass. Um, it's, it's glass that uh, transmits the light. Yeah. And if you break it, it, it fucks it up. But I, so I thought I broke it. And uh, then I tried to, today. I sat there and messed with it for a bit and got it working. So now. Yeah, I'm not just using RCA jacks coming out of a headphone jack into my surround sound. <laughs> nice. Which always sounds like shit. And, uh... I used to... Oh, crap. I used to have a fucking sweet system. Go ahead. Uh, I was just throwing that two cents in there real fast. Uh, he said, oh, crap. I think his mom walked in on him. Yeah, my mom walked in. Oh, no. and I've got all my shit. I've got a 3D printer, a regular printer, a bunch of tools and shit that I took out of my room today. It's in the kitchen, so I need to take that back downstairs and uh, get back to work. Ryan, get your shit out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back here in a bit. Ronald. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful day. Ron, tell your mom I said hi. Oh, he's already gone. Well, he's still here, quote unquote. He ain't left the room. So, oh, god damn, that fart stinks. Whew. Wow. Whew, god damn. Something fucking. Whew. <laughs> Something <laughs> crawled up my ass and died. <laughs> Fuck. I need to share that with everybody. I wish this thing had smell vision on it. I'd send it through the no, interweb. No, no. Oh, yeah. Everybody needs to smell that. My ass smells like fucking roses. They're dead, but hey, it's still roses. <laughs> dead roses. Yep. <sighs> After I'm done with making my pills out for next week. I might pick up my acoustic guitar and play a little bit. Cool. Do you hear uh, yeah. hear Tom McDonald's new song? You dropped yes, it yesterday. I did. Him and Al Adam Calhoun. Yep. yep. It was actually I like really Adam good. Calhoun. I'm a, I'm a big fan of both of them. <laughs> American flag. My first uh, introduction to. Tom, I mean, I kind of knew who he was, but I actually never listened to anything. The one day I thought, oh, I'll give this fucking white rapper kid a try, you know? The song Balloons. Yeah. Holy fuck. That's awesome. Yeah. I was like, yep, I'm a fan. I like his heavier, more in-depth stuff, you know? More deep stuff. Yeah. But plus, I like the the heavier. I think the my favorite heavy song he does is uh, uh, "No Good Bastards." I've heard that it's, one. It's got a good no perfect, no good. <laughs> it's kind of a. It you know it's still rap, but it's got a lot of guitar in it, heavy guitar. Hell yeah!
the systems system is really good that song just tells it like it is i mean there's no yeah. no way for anybody to say oh you're just grifting on that song it's like no that's really how life works in 2023 2022 well from about the 2000s <laughs> to now <laughs> for the last 20 years yep that's how it works yep absolutely uh. <laughs> we will have flying cars 2023 do not eat this wrapper <laughs> yep. Just like the fucking McDonald's cups. This was hot. No shit. I didn't think a hot cup of coffee was supposed to be cold. <laughs> if I wanted it cold, I'd have ordered an iced coffee. Yep. But frivolous lawsuit made that happen. Fuck. Yep. There you go. Another true statement I don't know if for me. Neighbors gonna be home tonight or not? Are you watching out the window? Fucking stalker. No. I'm in my room. I'm just, you know, wondering if she's gonna be home tonight or not. That's all. <laughs> well, I'm not stalking her. I'm just, you know, just writing down everything she does <laughs> when she leaves, when she comes home. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm a concerned neighbor. There you go. Fucking idiot. There you go. My name is Bonehead. Just call me Bonehead. <laughs> Have you seen my baseball? Did you watch the, the um, what you call it? The I can't remember what you call it. The disclosure thing for the other what day are we of disclosing here. The government, the government saying that there's aliens. No, I didn't or, watch that because well, they I didn't, knew that. They didn't say they were aliens. They, the guy was saying they're non-human biologics. So, the, so technically yeah. they could still be from Earth. Mm, yeah, no. No, we already know what's out there. And we know we're not alone. Anybody who thinks different is, they need to take the blindfold off. And just imagine how large this fucking universe is. And to believe that we're the only intelligent life forms on just this one little bitty rock in the middle of some mass, massive universe slash solar system slash whatever the biggest part of it is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty naive to think we're alone. We're the only, you know, life forms out there. So... You built. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. That's like going into a fucking, you know, whorehouse and expecting all the girls to be virgins. <clears throat> <laughs> wow. I'm getting tired of that bullshit. Yep. And a lot of the fucking trans people are getting tired of that bullshit, too. The idiots like the Dylan Mulvaney's fucking taking a microphone from, you know, normal people. <clears throat> I 
The easiest way to be extreme today is just do whatever was normal 50 years ago. <laughs> 50 years ago? Fuck, just do what was normal three years ago. Yeah. You're going to piss somebody off. Somebody's going to call you a something phobe or a racist or fucking something because you don't agree with them. Because they're small-minded fucking little stains of fucking human beings. Are you taking I three got no problem with nobody until I got no ready. problem with nobody until they fucking start telling me what I need to think and say. Fuck you, I'll do what I want. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Darcy <laughs> 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 Wish we could choose our baby fathers. <laughs> you know, there's fucking girls out there that have said that, right? Yes, that's For real. What I, yeah, that's what I'm laughing. They're, they're that fucking, stupid. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We're doomed as a race. Like, literally, we are. Because of those people. Yep. It's so fucking stupid. It's like, uh, I mean, it's obvious our fucking school systems have failed. Public education is a failure. <clears throat> yes. I'm kind of glad I got kicked out of school. <laughs> yeah, me too. Fucker, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Drop my battle cap somewhere. I'm thinking sometime in the next couple months, I'm going to invest in some more equipment and I'm going to start fucking making my own mead. Uh, cool. Yep. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to turn into a lush. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to be a raving alcoholic. Guess if that's what your thing is, go for it. Hell yeah. Let's see. Man, I saw something online on reverb.com the other day. On what? Where? On reverb.com. Oh, reverb. And and I was very seriously thinking about buying this. I actually went looking for it today because I was going to order it. And it's gone. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, you sent me that picture. Yep. I finally decided, fuck it, I'm going to buy it. Nope, it was gone. I was bummed. Now there's other ones. There was a couple of them said, like, excellent or mint and fucking, oh, Jesus, dude, the scratches and dings on that fucker. It's like, oh, you people are stupid. I would only buy from a music store. I wouldn't buy some Joe Bob because I don't trust people. What time is it? Mm -hmm. 
nine o'clock. Yep. Why just fuck me? <laughs> what if I find sexy in a girl is her personality? Oh, good, because I have several. What? Nothing. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Ah. Oh, you're on your own for a second. All right. This is Ryan. Okay. Oh, no, he didn't mute it. So, okay, there he goes. Whew. It's just us now. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was carrying on a whole conversation with everybody. Like, I was on the air earlier when the show started. And he never stopped playing the music. So I was talking to myself for like 15 minutes. <laughs> That's why I don't like doing this by myself. Especially if somebody else is, like, running the software. I need to, like, get it figured back out, make it work again, so I can do it and say, fuck it. If I want to run a show all by myself, I can run a whole show by myself. So. And eventually I might, you know, get a different mixer so I can have my Bluetooth hooked up to it so I can have, I can make and receive phone calls while I'm on the air. I think that would be fun. <laughs> yep. I could possibly set up an interview with somebody, you know, something along those lines, check in with people. You know, I, I, I'm thinking that would jazz up the show a little bit. definitely been on my mind because well let's face it bonehead he likes to play hooky a lot fucking bonehead <laughs> ah, I get it we're getting older we ain't quite boomers but we're old fuckers <clears throat> the only one of us that is not old is a uh, new girl. So she's still in her 20s. The other three of us, well, I'm the only one that ain't hit my 50s yet. I'll be hitting 50s later this year. The big 5-0 will be in December. So, But Keith is in his 50s. Bonehead's in his 50s. Talk about your joys. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, Darsko. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. My biggest joy? My grandson. I never thought I'd ever be able to say that. There was a, a time where I didn't think I was going to be a daddy. And then when that happened, I was like, sweet. Thankfully, I didn't spawn any children with the women before her. <clears throat> Which, I mean, realistically, I wish I wouldn't have spawned a child with her. But, uh, you know, at least it wasn't one of the other ones. Uh yeah, so I didn't think I was going to be a, a grandpa ever. I figured I'd be dead by now. If 
fuck, when I was younger, I used to have dreams. I never dreamt over the age of 30. That's the weirdest fucking thing. Here I am fixing to hit 50. Had some speed bumps along the way, like Bonehead. Here he's a fucking speed bump. <laughs> oh, hey, Bonehead's back. Yep, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Guy out of yeah, running out of hours and looking nice. for a place to park. Oh, he he doesn't have a truck stop manual. No, he was at a truck stop. And there was no parking. <laughs> oh, it was a pilot. That's when you. That's when you get back on the highway and go find another one. Yep. If you got a driving violation, it's better than being sitting on the side of the road. Yeah, he was already out of hours. <laughs> he was, he he only had like yeah, so. ten minutes left. Yeah, that's why I said I you at, got a driving violation. Oh well. Well, technically, you don't have to. That's what the personal conveyance seeking safe haven is for. If your place that uh, you're going see, to depart. Oh, well, yeah, it's something new with the logs. You got to remember, I'm old school. Yeah, yeah, you, you got to remember, I'm old school. Like yeah. four logbooks, old school. Yeah. I run four of them motherfuckers like ain't nobody's business. I'm a creative writing motherfucker. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I got out of it before the e-log was mandated for everybody. Yeah. Consider yourself lucky. Yeah, I mean, realistically, it's it's a double-edged sword. Am I lucky? Yeah. Am I lucky? No, because I had a fucking stroke. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'd much rather be driving down the highway right now. But with these new rules, I'm thankful I'm not. Yep. Me too. Because if I ain't tired, I ain't pulling over. That's just how I've always been. Like, fuck, I will fix my logbook later. Oh, look, I can't make it all fit. Oh, well, I guess I'll pull up my other one. I'll make it fit on one of them. When I worked for that one company, I won't mention their name. Uh, that one about going fast, I had loose leaf log book. So, <laughs> boy, I had all <laughs> sorts of fucking, I put like, oh, yeah. I just walk in the office in the box and grab a big fucking, you know, three inches thick of fucking log pages and stick them in my binder. <laughs> it's like, ha ha. <laughs> Way more than 31 in there, motherfucker. <laughs> yep. Nothing wrong with that. that Good I was old a days. Bad boy. Yeah. Creative writing motherfuckers. Why the fuck am I, I not the... getting why are these memes not pasting? Uh, uh, uh. Ron said it. There they go. Apparently, my Discord's being really slow. That's your being slow. It's just going to take a minute to catch up. <laughs> hmm. In land of the free, he cheers local man who pays 39% of his taxes. <laughs> and Democrat army. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, gotta send that, you gotta send that one to Keith. All right. I'll do it right now. He'll, he'll, he'll appreciate that one. <laughs> Hell yeah. There. <clears throat> Bitch has got more hair on her body than I do. What the fuck <laughs> is that all about? <laughs> Dirty little slut. I gotta open some gummies. Brand new pack of 
gummies. He's, he's Italian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought about drinking a bottle of wine tonight, but nah. So I got the idea for this drink concoction I'm going to make. I, from, you know... Brewing and shit like that. Your mayonnaise and rum concoction. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought a two-gallon bucket that's designed for fermentation or bottling of your own product. It's got a spigot on it. Plus, it's got a, a sealable lid with an airlock on it, so it can breathe if it off gases. But I'm not going to get into that yet. I'm just going to use this as to mix like a mixer. I'm gonna. I bought a half a gallon of fucking cherries. Wow. So a big fucking jar from Sam's Club of uh, maraschino cherries. <clears throat> so and I'm going to probably start with about half of that, and then I'm going to put a half a gallon of uh, rum in it and see what the flavor ratio is. <clears throat> I want to I want to get it to where it's drinkable by itself, or I can mix it with something like a cola of some sort. I really like cherry flavored stuff, so cool. I would put it with a cherry Coke or a cherry Pepsi. So when do you put the mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> that's just the taste you, you know I, I like to dip my rim of my glass in it rather than doing like margarita salts I just do mayonnaise <laughs> that way you get that good mayonnaise flavor every time you take a drink <laughs> rums cherry rum cherries and fucking <laughs> mayonnaise <laughs> yeah <laughs> Nasty. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. I believe that one right there. That's what it's coming to. We are definitely headed down that dangerous tunnel. Yep. I didn't tell you. You remember Scott that used to live with Steve? Yeah. Who ended up keeping the house uh -huh. after Steve moved out? His dad passed away. Really? Yeah, we could go Friday. That sucks. Yep. He, uh, <laughs> he bought a couple guitars at a yard sale and had to bring them over this morning. He's like, dude, check these out. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the first one, it was a Strat copy. It was a first act guitar. And it just had a humbucker in it, in the bridge. Huh. Hi, Dusty. And then the second one was an acoustic. I've never heard of the brand, but the top on it was all <laughs> fucking split and starting to... Except it was delaminating is what it was doing. So it had cracks in it and, and ridges where the cracks were. and The back was much the same. I said, to be completely honest with you, the acoustic's probably not worth anything because, I mean, you might be able to sand it down and smooth it out and then refinish it. But right. really... That's just a beginner guitar anyway. And same thing with the electric. I said, the electric guitar looks beautiful. It is hands down beautiful. It's a tobacco sunburst. I said, but this is an entry-level guitar. This is a $100 guitar at Walmart. He's like, yeah, I looked it up, and it's like 150 to $300 it's going for. I was like, no, no. it's not. <laughs> Fucking re retard. Hey, no way. <clears throat> but uh, I said, no, this is a good beginner guitar. I mean, anybody gets to know with the first act and learn how not on that. And you're not out any money. It'd be different if you're spending six, eight hundred 
dollars on a guitar for a kid who's never going to do anything with it. I said, I'd be fucking mad about that. $200 on a guitar. I wouldn't be mad about that at all. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Oh, she isn't it. Oh, shit. Gonna do some playing? You're gonna have to get a lot closer to that mic. Well, yeah, but right now I'm just tuning it. Closer. Yes, I know. See, but then I got to keep moving my microphone if I want to say anything. I could plug it in. Plug it in. It sucks trying to play the fucking, you know, the band stuff acoustically, yep. especially that song. Yeah. I mean, Red itself transposes because it was real, real slow. Like the original part of Red, not to be that beginning part. <laughs> nah, the neck needs an adjustment. The strings are too far away from the fucking bridge or the neck. So it's like really uncomfortable to play. Yeah. So it makes, you know, switching notes a little harder that way. And I really, really don't feel like fucking dicking with a truss rod right now. If you dig with the truss rod, then you gotta you gotta retune it all. Mm-hmm. Well, tuning it's not a big deal, but well, it's actually you don't even like, necessarily. Yeah, if you fuck with the truss rod, you got one of those. Uh, like they're basically like um, straight edges, but they also have all the little gaps in them for the uh, what's what's the spot between the the struts? It's called the fret. 
It's the fret. fret. Yeah. <laughs> they got little gaps between them for the frets. So, you, like, I, yes. I, I actually, yes. my roommate was a luthier and I lived with him for like two years. So I picked up a little bit about all this. He yeah, actually showed me, like, edge. Yeah, he showed me how to do this. And he's like, yeah, when you when you fuck with this truss rod, like this is what you got to do. Like it, it's like a whole process. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it depends on what the amount of what you're doing and shit, too. You know, it's. It, you're basically you changing it, the curvature of your uh, of your neck. Not that much, though. Oh, no. What you should do if you're doing a truss rod adjustment is. uh you know, adjust your intonation, but realistically, I'm not worried about intonation. I just need to lower the fr strings to the fretboard a little bit. Can't you do that at the bridge? <clears throat> no, no, that's a truss rod. So I, I don't need to do that at the bridge. I, at the bridge is where you adjust the intonation, which I do have a strobe tuner for doing intonation. I've got all these shit for doing <laughs> it myself. Strobe tuner. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a stroke, a strobe, like strobe light, strobe oh. light tuner. Yeah. Yep. So now I'll fucking take a picture of the one I have. It's a, it's a Peterson strobe plus HD. Peterson makes the best strobe tuners. And <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> one of my really, really, really good friends is a luthier as well he's the only man who touches my guitars besides myself as far as doing work on them watch this video here of this guy playing this guitar can you play that uh through your mic no, uncle bonehead i don't have it set up for that wow well, at least your at least your audio is working wow wow Wow. There you go. Who the fuck's emailing me? Here, I can play it. You want me to play it? Yeah, if you if you're set up for it, go for it. Sure. I mean I can do it. I'm 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 strong enough, I'm capable enough, and darn it, people like me. I know you. <laughs> I know you dead I know you. Let me see here. I gotta put my shit wide open so there's no Echo cancellation, no noise suppression, no automatic gain control. All right, I think we're good. Do I sound do I sound wide open? Do I sound, sound like a your mom on a Friday now. night? What? You sound a little quieter now. <laughs> Hold on. Let's wait, where's it at? Yeah, there. Let me make sure. Can I hear you guys say something? Something. There we go. Hi. Hi. Oh, man, that is so much better. I fixed my sound and it doesn't have static to it. Oh, God, it's so much better. <laughs> he's doing all this with a beer bottle because why not? Oh, and then he cool. chugs the beer bottle while he's playing. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> the most American right. thing ever. I don't know. I think actually, now that I played it, yeah, it's like, I want a it, telly. It, it sounded pretty good, but watching him is like really the show. As usually oh, is live. I've seen guitarists do that before. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's that the dude, only that dude had the swagger, right? He had to just like, like he's just America pumping through his blood. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
I've probably shared it before. I really don't feel like hunting it down to share it again, but a picture of one said Mr. Angel Vivaldi playing guitar one-handed, playing a solo one-handed. Yeah, well, he's chugging it. Hammer on to pull off. <laughs> yeah, chugging it. Chugging a, a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. No, he was a bottle of water. Water, whatever. He was drinking. He was preoccupied. But he never missed a note. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> I'm going to go hunt it down. Just because I'm feeling fancy that way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Should be in my videos folder. Where to go? Yeah, I'll have one. Hey, wait a minute. There it is. Ron? Hopefully it'll load. Yes, up. sir. Your dog's barking. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put my shit back on automatic determined sensitivity, echo cancellation, crisp noise suppression, and then automatic gain control. There we go. Oh, you shouldn't hear it when he barks. Nope. <laughs> Just shoot the dog. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty it's like this a, video is a minute. It's a minute forty two long and it's uploading, so there it is. Nope, not yet. There it is. There it is. Absolutely. Angel's a badass. Yeah, he is. He starts it off with a pick, and then he, once he gets her going, and then he picks up his bottle of water and starts drinking it. There he goes. <laughs> He's still going. He's a guitar god. Yes, he is. He's up there with Satriani, Spy, and... Malmsteen. Does he think yeah, he's Yngwie Malmsteen or something? Somebody, oh, he's way better than Malmsteen. Be well, I wouldn't say better. There's nobody better than Malmsteen. Well, yeah, there is. He's better than Malmsteen because he's A, approachable, and he's not egotistical. Yeah, it's his No, I'm talking about just pure, like, playing abilities. Now, so, the thing is, is I don't really like Malmsteen's music. It's like, it lacks soul. It lacks exactly. feeling. Like, the only thing I think, like, Black Star is the only song of his that I actually like. Um, But, as far as it goes, though, technically speaking, the guy is out of this yeah, world. He's, yeah, it's the, he's, he's, he's the shred he's, master. He is a... He well, is he used to be. He's definitely no, you know, he still very is. technical. Have you have you seen him recently? Yep. No. Yes. I, I watched a video on YouTube. I don't. I haven't seen him. Seen him, but I watched a video on YouTube of him and like, I mean, you know, he's all fat and shit, which whatever, that's fine. But dude, right. the dude lost. He's lost something. Like, like I can't really put my finger on. It. I don't have the experience to to well, be like, oh, that's what exactly. It, well, what it is 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 he is he's only he's a one trick pony. He only knows neoclassical music. So, and that's what he, I mean, he knows obviously lots, but that's the only thing he plays is neoclassical music. So it's just, it lacks life. All of his songs tend to sound the same nowadays, but he's still got the chops. He just, his writing isn't the greatest these days. Yeah. 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 But he's still a god. I'd say my top guy, though, now and for a while now has been uh, John Petrucci from Dream Theater. Really? That's my top guy right there. Yeah. John is an amazing man. He's an amazing guitar player. He's an amazing teacher. All of it, all boiled down into the man he is. He's just a great person. 
Our uh, the the company I work for actually rolled some ads at Dream Theater concerts, and uh, oh yeah, I was I, I was actually offered some tickets to go there, but it was too far away. You should have. Yeah, probably should have. But yeah, if, if you if if you get a chance to see Dream Theater again locally, like within a fifty mile radius, I would go to that. It's worth the money. Because you're going to get three hours of fucking entertainment. Most of the time, they tour by themselves. I mean, summertime, they do a lot of festival-type shit. So they tour with a bigger, you know, like... They'll be playing Pine Knob here in Detroit, or north of Detroit, Pontiac, actually. Um, They'll be playing... Well, actually, it's Rochester Hills, but Pontiac area. Anyway, they'll be playing there. And I think Megadeth is going to be there in Lamb of God as well. You that or that was last year's bill. I don't know, but a lot of times, especially in the winter time, if you go see them, they're doing stadiums by themselves. And yeah, you're going to get <laughs> two to three hours of fucking astonishing music talent. Those guys are amazing. The entire band, the drummer, I like the drummer. I don't like him as bad or as much as the original drummer, though. He lacks the, I don't know, almost like the, I'm trying to think of the right word. I'm brain farting right now. Um, there's just something about his playing. He's great. I mean, obviously, he wouldn't be in Dream Theater if he wasn't fucking top of the top. But he's not Mike Portnoy top of the top. Mike Portnoy's just got this feel about him, this vibe, this energy, just and Mike Mangini, like I said, he's amazing. I'm not taking anything away from him, but it's just different. So I wish Mike Portnoy was still in the band. So much so that hell even John Petrucci when he does his solo stuff, Mike Portnoy's his drummer of choice. So, you know, and the only reason Portnoy was kicked out of the band is because he was doing a stint with Venge Sevenfold. And he thought, you know, Dream Theater was on a break, so he did it. And then he was thinking he had a chance to maybe become a full-fledged member of the band. He was just filling in for their drummer who had just died, who was a massive uh, Dream Theater fan. And Mike Pornoy fan. So Mike filled in and on the album and the tour. And when the tour was over, they let him go rather than hiring him. In the meantime, Dream Theater's like, let's go. Shit or get off the pot. And he decided to stay shitting. And they said, see ya. And then he got the boot from fucking Avenged Sevenfold shortly after that. So he was left out. So, yep. Yeah. All because they, they didn't have the patience to wait and see what happened with the Vince Sevenfold thing. Mike Portnoy could have done both. He had the ability. The only thing that could have been conflicting at that point would have been schedules. And the two bands are obviously massively successful. So they could have either A, got on some touring together, or just alternated their schedules. So nobody was, you know, playing at the same time in two different places. I think, you know, the, the studio album that Portnoy was a part of from Dream Theater, or from Avenged Sevenfold, was a great album. So... Hells, yeah, bitches. Oh. That is cool. <laughs> yes, sir. Hell yeah.
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Bought this parrot. Haven't had his fucking chance yet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Some chicks do like to flap their gums. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have the resources. The fucking mayor of New York. New York City is a is a sanctuary city. So they send all the refugees there or illegal immigrants, whatever you want to call it. Stop it. We can't have it. We can't afford this. You said you were a sanctuary city, dumbass. Yep. Flying shots and skanks. <laughs> I was waiting for you to read that. <clears throat> Tastes way better than their soap. <laughs> because a different company, ain't it? Yeah, I think. <clears throat> I don't know for sure, so. <laughs> you are. <laughs> WD-40 comes in handy. Fucking ain't right. You know who that is, don't you? That chick up there? That two-dimensional titty chick? <laughs> no. That's Laura. That, yeah, Laura Croft? Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, baby. Yeah. yeah, that was the PlayStation Tomb Raider titties. Uh, yep. The original PlayStation. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's true, too, man. Uh-huh. This one never gets old. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Post a savage meme and your friend shares it and it gets a three day ban. <laughs> Nope, it's still cold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm super cereal. <laughs> this popped up in my fucking memories the other day. This is a picture that Michelle, the basement troll, 
Ott uh, tagged me in. Uh, cool. I miss my fucking pool. Especially these last yep, couple I miss of days. That fucking house. Uh huh. Fuck the last couple of weeks. It's been perfect today. Call a surprise witness. <laughs> ah. Mary Margaret turns butter real slow with her ankles out. Jibba, woo. <laughs> Them ankles are out. <laughs> yeah, Jebediah is fucking into that. Like, damn it, girl, look at them fucking ankles. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Bitch got some great cankles. We're smashing her tampon tunnel from behind and her stink portal starts waking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I got another one that goes along with that too. This was actually a comment on that same meme. Baby launch doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> no, deal with you later. <laughs> yep. Bitch be winking at you. <laughs> That's when you put your finger on her butthole and you say, shh, you're next. <clears throat> no fuck. Didn't there wasn't there the other day something about some senator or congress man or whatever when it did a hunger strike or something for eight hours? Something about some law in Texas, I think it was, where they stopped them. Got rid of the mandatory water break or something like that. And then some stupid congressman got all upset about it because it, we weren't. I you haven't know. heard nothing about it. But I mean, they went a whole eight hours without taking a break. And they, they, they made a big deal about it and was doing. Uh, shit, you know, on the fucking TV about it. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to post something here. It's almost the end of the show. This is my PSA for all the fellas out there. If a woman says, do what you want, do not do what you want. Stand still. Do not blink. Don't even breathe. Just play dead. Yep. The only thing you can do. Yep. Believe me, I've been married twice. So, that right there is something you can live by right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know who Gorlock the Destroyer is? It sounds familiar. Real big, mm. fat, transgender, I'm going to say chick, quote unquote, that was uh, on the whatever podcast that thinks she's a 10. Oh, you know, yeah. Netflix made a Netflix made a movie about Gorlock. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lizzo's wow. already got fucking you know something going because Lizzo's a girl where Gorlock is not it looks like a girl but it is not it's a transformer <laughs> transformer <laughs> more than meets the eye <laughs> you think <laughs> Got a kickstand. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Normak when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously drinking someplace else. <laughs> He'll fucking pop in like... Somebody light up the bat signal? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Oh, ain't nothing wrong with the mayor, Dersko. Not at all. I just like to give people a hard time. See, I could sneak another one in there, too. Let's see. I got to scroll back that far. There we go. <laughs> Came in like a raking ball. <laughs> yep. I was trying to whistle with fucking gummies in my mouth and not blow fucking spit all over the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sucking on my gummies. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning the Jew. <laughs> and here you go. <laughs> this is the last thing I'm going to post tonight. So, Enjoy. <laughs> no, not gonna happen. <laughs> Ron will. Ron's a trooper. <laughs> he's got. He's got my back. He's a real trooper. <laughs> he he got you on your back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Vic. Yep. <sighs> yes, sir. I'm about ready for a fucking cigarette, too. <laughs> the show's almost over. Hail to the yeah. That is true. I never started out at day one, though. I started out about... <laughs> The middle. Between the middle and the fourth guy. Or the fifth guy. Yeah, I was about the... Probably closer. I was about the third. Go ahead. And I'm... I'm at the last guy now. <laughs> 350 pounds of... Pissed off ex-truck driver. Um, I don't think I'm quite... That guy, but I'm between the fifth and the sixth guy. I'm up there. No, you're not. You're down there because you just a fucking Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, <laughs> did you see they're remaking Snow White? Yeah, I saw that. 
Fucking stupid. With a Mexican chick? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's why I don't date anymore, because you just can't tell. Yep. And I like them a little thicker, so you ne don't won't necessarily see an Adam's apple. Like, I don't have an, ex you know, exposed <laughs> Adam's apple. <clears throat> so. You said you like them a little thicker. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, are we talking the 20s here, or the... <laughs> or the, the 80s? You fucking retard. <laughs> no. 2000s. <laughs> but any of the first three work for me. Hairy, half hairy, no hair. We're good. When it has a kickstand, get the fuck out of my house. Before I cut <laughs> your fucking leg off. And I'll use a fucking rusty butter knife. Hey, we're off the air. Oh shit! Is it? Yeah. No. Uh, yep. We mean no. Just about. There's no timer anymore, so you're oh. off the air whenever you stop streaming. Oh. Okay. You're on the air when you start streaming, and you're off the air when you stop streaming. Oh. Good to know that now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I thought I told you that. Oh, you might have. No. I never heard it. Oh, no, what I just told Bonehead. I didn't tell you. It. What is that noise? Yeah. Me and my scissors. Spinning them on my desk. Oh. Putting my fingers through one, uh, uh, one of the finger holes and holding my finger on the de uh, desk and spinning it. Look at that time it opened up. <clears throat> that could have been bad. Well, fuck. I'm going to yeah. get off here and go smoke a cigarette. Take a yeah. piss. Call her quits. I got to shake hands with my best friend. <laughs> Truck for oh, sale. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, I guys. I've seen well, that truck. I better go get my shit I, together. I have to. Yep. Yeah, you better go get your room cleaned up or your mom and I are going to ground you later. Oh, Young no. Man. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah, John likes it when you call him daddy. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> get on the get on the floor there for daddy. <laughs> get on your knees, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. Say, hey boy, look mighty cute in them jeans. <clears throat> yep, Bill. Thanks, Darcyco. <laughs> we'll talk to uh, you guys. Yeah. Probably next week. <laughs> I won't say, I won't say that, because I don't know when we'll be back. It depends on Bonehead. If yeah. he's like, oh, I don't feel good. My my pussy hurts. And then you know, it's like, you, okay, we don't have a show tonight. You're welcome to stream anytime you want. No, I can't actually because uh, my stream of shit ain't working. Remember, it don't work no more. Well, then do an update. I've Get been it. updating it. It's never well, fucking worked for no. quite a while. You need need Brian to give you the the stream URL. Why don't you it just give it to him? It still wasn't them? working. Oh, I can do that. Before that, it was, still wasn't working. I need to get on here and set it back up, and, and I want to set up my digital mixer again, too. Yeah. I want to be able to change my voice so I can do God and Susie. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> yep, yep. See, I could like crack open a beer, like hey, I'm gonna give this Bud Light a try. I've tried Bud Light in years, and then <laughs> change the knob over to fucking feminine. Oh my god, it works so good. <laughs> so you know that that type of shit. You do that pretty good. You don't even need this voice changer. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> good night, guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk at you guys later. Night. We'll see you. See y'all later. Later. <laughs>